Hello, today we will take a look at nice visualization project. It will be burning fire effect. For this project we will use JavaScript and we will draw the fire on HTML canvas. Starting off with HTML template skeleton. We need a canvas element. It will be our working zone. Inside script tag we are defining a couple of constants for canvas size and zoom level. As you might know, HTML canvas does not have native support for pixel level operations therefore we emulate drawing a pixel with filling rectangle. Frame function will be the one where all the magic will happen. We schedule it to be executed just before the browser repaints the screen. Fire array will represent each pixel of the canvas. Elements of the array will contain value from 0 to 255 that will identify the intensity or brightness of each pixel. Also for convenience let's define get and set functions. Let's get back to frame function. It has two parts. The first part should initialize the fire. It starts from the bottom and fills bottom row of canvas with random colors. Like in real life the fire behaves randomly and you never know in which place the fire will be more active. The second part is simulating how the fire burns. There are multiple models how to do it. One of them and this is what is used in this project is to calculate brightness of a pixel based on few pixels below. We just take three pixels from a row below and one pixel two rows below. Let's refer to the image to get an idea. Imagine that we need to get intensity for pixel X for that purpose we'll use pixels A, B, C and D. You can also play around with division coefficient. If it is below 4 the fire will become brighter with every row. This is what we don't want. On the other hand, values above 4 should give us more realistic picture when upper layers of the fire are fading down. Color function will be simple, it will use only red color palette. It's quite easy to do using RGB color model. Now we can check first results in the browser. You can see that the flame goes up and it goes from red to black over time. But can we make anything better with the colors? Actually yes, we can define a gradient that goes through red, orange, yellow and black. This will give us more realistic colors. Refer to the breakdown to find more about gradients. Link will be in the description. To make our work with gradients a bit more easy, we will use Chroma JS library. It will help us to detect the color in the gradient based on provided brightness. Now if we refresh the browser we will see more realistic fire effect. As the last step let's add some text on the canvas, just for fun. Here I have carefully chosen the position and the size of the text. The flame should end just under the text. Feel free to play around with different parameters like canvas size, fade down coefficient or palette. That's it for today. 